Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Friday, June 16th, 2023. And upon request from one of my viewers, I'm discussing POTS. Well, what is P-O-T-S, POTS? It stands for Postural Tachycardia Syndrome, and it's one of the most common causes of chronic orthostatic intolerance. What is chronic orthostatic intolerance, you're probably asking? Well, basically, it has to do with having symptoms that are related to posture change. Typically, these occur in people who go from lying down to standing up and abruptly after they feel lightheaded, dizzy, or faint. Now, some people can also have uh, weakness, shortness of breath, blurred vision, brain fog, chest pain, and tingling sensations in their skin. Now, typically people with orthostatic intolerance have a drop in their blood pressure or increase in their heart rate. Now getting back to POTS, there is consensus diagnostic criteria that include to have this diagnosis, you have to have a heart rate increase more than 30 beats per minute without a drop in blood pressure, orthostatic hypotension, and a length of symptoms for six months or more and absence of other causes. So who is more likely to have POTS? Well, it occurs more commonly in adolescent girls and young women. And again, it's characterized by typical orthostatic symptoms, posture related, and accompanied by a variety of other symptoms. Now, these symptoms can be debilitated, uh, debilitating, so know that they're real and they're not in your head. Now, how is it diagnosed? Well, first, you need to see a doctor that has experience in diagnosing and managing POTS. It can be an adolescent medicine specialist. It can be a primary care doctor with an interest in this. It can be a neurologist, cardiologist, or gastroenterologist, depending on what the dominant symptoms are. Now, there are special tests that can be helpful in getting to the diagnosis of POTS. Now, it includes a comprehensive medical history, includes a family history, uh, and details of the natures of these incidents, a physical exam. Uh, you need to have orthostatic vitals where they measure your blood pressure and heart rate when you're laying down and after one, three, five, and 10 minutes of standing. Most people get a cardiac EKG, an electrocardiogram. Some may need additional cardiac testing. Some may have blood testing to rule out other conditions. Uh, some may have autoimmune testing depending on their symptoms uh, and some people have auto autonomic testing uh, and that has to do with tilt test uh, table tilt test table um, testing so again the diagnostic uh, exam and evaluation is thorough now there is an association with COVID-19 uh, there was an article posted on uh, Tuesday, February 28th from Becker's Hospital Review, which states that there has been a sharp rise in the incidence of POTS since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic because of SARS-CoV-2 being an acute viral infectious trigger. So again, POTS can be part of the clinical picture uh, that people with long COVID have, and it can appears that anybody can get POTS, whether the virus caused initially mild symptoms or serious. So again, doctors say that people with POTS can get better. I want you to remember that the POTS symptoms are not all in your head. Uh, it's often debilitating, but it can be treated depending on your symptoms. Now, there are POTS treatment centers across the United States, but again, they, it may be difficult to get an appointment. So I hope that this is helpful. Um, don't give up, folks, if you have this condition. Like any chronic illness, you may have good days and not so good days, but hang in there, get to the right doctors, get the treatment that's right for you. That's my message today. As always, take care, folks, and be well.